What's up, y'all? Michael White here, your favorite self-taught developer. And if you guys haven't heard the good news, I've officially been employed as a front-end developer now for about two weeks. And uh, it's been a wild ride. It's been a crazy two weeks. So I just wanted to make a video kind of sharing my thoughts and going over what I experienced the first two weeks as a front-end developer and kind of talk about the transition from going from somebody self-taught and, you know, still learning to what that first day is like and starting your official role as a front-end developer. So typically I script these videos out. I didn't do that for today. I kind of want to speak from the heart. I do have a little cheating sticky note here where I kind of wrote down some bullet points, but that's about it. So we're obviously going to start with the best part first. And that being that I have doubled my income, like I've doubled my annual salary while getting paid to learn something that I was already learning for free. And you can't beat that. That is probably the best part about getting your first developer job. Like I'm gonna be honest with you, that is, that is the best part. Cause typically I was spending four hours a day learning how to code and then going to work for another seven, eight hours a day. And you know, that's like, what? Let me do some math here. 11 hours, <laughs> don't, don't judge my math skills. But that's like, what, 11 hours? So now I still have that same time. I still have my code time and I still have my work time. Only now they're condensed into one thing, right? So now instead of spending that 11 hours coding and then working, I'm spending eight hours just coding and learning right now. There's a fly in my room. Did y'all see that? Oh, I'm gonna get him. Also, this is total deja vu right now. Have we been here before? Has this happened before? Anyone else or just me? But getting paid to learn is, it's just awesome. That's 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 the best part about transitioning from somebody self-taught, like learning how to code, to getting that first job. Now you're getting paid to do what you're already doing for free. You can't beat that. So when I had my first day, I really didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to jump into or like the expectations people were really gonna have of me. You know, you, you discuss one thing in an interview, but when you start that first day, it's completely different. Luckily at the company I started with, it was a very easy transition. They kind of showed me all the tools and software we're gonna be using. Uh, the code base that I'm going to be using and kind of just set me free to experiment and learn and just like look at everything for the first couple days. And then right after that, they hit me with my first project. <laughs> and that's when the learning really started. See, when I was self-teaching myself and building projects, you know, and just learning how to code, there were a lot of variables. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> that I just didn't really, that I just never had to worry about beforehand, you know? So one of them being a timeline. So when I got my first project assigned, I had 11 days from the day that they gave it to me to get it done, right? And they wanted me to build a homepage and a like product details page. So, and they gave me 11 days, which was <laughs> stressful, <laughs> stressful. Cause you know, I'd never had to work with real deadlines like that. So of course I was freaking out. That was my second or third day that I got that news. And I was like, oh my God, how am I going to do this? And imposter syndrome immediately kicked in. But as soon as I started working through it and breaking down the overall task into the smaller components, I realized it was manageable. And that kind of brings me to the next point. Yes, this task was a lot and, you know, required to be done in a short time. But now I had access to a resource I never had before. I could actually ask other developers <laughs> questions. So previously, I kind of did everything on my own when I was learning. When I was going through the Odin project or building out my own stuff, I did it all on my own. I didn't have anybody to ask for help. Granted, I probably did have people I could have asked, but I was stubborn and I didn't. Now, when I felt that pressure, like, typically I don't want to ask for help, but I knew I had to. There was no way that I could get the project done within the amount of time just based off of what I knew alone. So... I started asking questions right away, which is cool because my boss actually encouraged me to ask questions and kind of like, because they all know I'm new. Nobody thinks I'm like, you know, some veteran. They all know I'm new. They all know I have questions and everybody's been really helpful with my team. And it's just so cool to be able to ask people how to do things that I've never had to do before. And there's a lot of things I have to do that I never had to do before. So I'm really appreciative that my team is so nice, but you learn so much during that. Like as soon as you get exposed to different ways of doing things like when you build things on your own you have your own systems your own flows the own things that you want when you're building something for a customer they have things that they want fonts that they like functions on the page that they like like maybe they want both sides of the page to scroll independently i never done that before and uh, actually had to do that on the project that i'm working on so it's pretty cool it's just you learn so much in that first few weeks and i think 
them giving me that project, it pushed me. It made me very uncomfortable at first. Like I said, I had to battle imposter syndrome and it pushed me. But just taking that on and working hard at it every day, I've I've learned more in the last two weeks than I probably learned in like the last three or four months. Honestly, I've learned a ton. And like I said, everybody's so helpful. And it's just if you guys can find somebody right now to like help you talk to you about your code, it will speed your process up tremendously. And if you guys want to talk to me, you know, I can, I'm always down to chat. I have a discord. You guys can join the discord. I'll have a link posted below and I'm always willing to share and help any way I can. But having somebody to talk to will just speed up the process exponentially. And I wish I would have just reached out to somebody while I was learning. And while you're able to ask things in a professional setting, there's still things you have to do yourself. Like the answers I get are never exactly what to do. The answers are kind of like, they always guide you in the right direction. But 90% of the time I end up having to Google to just kind of know I know what's going on. You know what I mean? Whenever people give you feedback, they always kind of guide you in the right direction. And then like, it's on you at that point. They're passing the ball to you. They're saying here, use this tool, do X, do Y. And it's on you to put it all together. And just make sure that if you're going into a position like this, you are comfortable Googling everything. Like it's okay to ask questions, but you have to maintain a sense of independence at the same time. Like you can't, all the answers aren't going to be just handed to you. You do have to work for it. They're going to help you and guide you in the right direction, but to really understand what's going on and for you to like cement it in your head and make it work the way it's supposed to, because every project's a little bit different, right? You have to know how to research the topic at hand, understand it and go from there. Putting all that together, that's pretty much been my first two weeks, you know, trying to learn how to work within timelines, which I've never had to do before. Having access to information and then learning how to reinforce that information in my own mind to get the project done. Does that make sense? I feel like I worded that in the craziest way possible, but this is what happens when I don't have a script. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but something else really cool about being a developer. Now, I know this isn't for all developers. I know some of you guys actually go into the office, but my job is a work from home job. It's remote. And this is awesome. Like, I love being at home. I'm a homebody. I'm a homebody all day. So getting to wake up and like work out and take my time, get on the computer, and then get to work, you know, when I'm ready. And then, you know, not having to drive anywhere. <laughs> it's super cool. When I'm ready for lunch, I just go down, throw some food in the oven, and I get like oven fresh lunch. And then when I'm done at the end of the day, I just log off and go on my couch. It's great, dude. Like uh, being a developer was a real life change for me. The last two weeks have been wild. I actually really enjoy what I'm doing during the day, nine to five. And it's just... It's crazy. It's really crazy to look back and reflect nine, 10 months ago now that I was like super unhappy with where I was professionally and I just wanted so much more. And then you fast forward and here we are almost a year later and I'm just like, like I'm just lost, you know? It's crazy what happens when you set goals and you work towards them. Cause you always hear everybody say that, like set goals and all this. But this is probably one of the first times in my life that like I set a concrete goal and I like labeled steps along the way to get me there. Like one day I'll show you guys my board. My board's right there. And I have like everything labeled on it. Maybe for my one year video, I'll show you guys my board that I that I wrote when I started. But it's just crazy to look at like I I checked off every box and then like there's still boxes on there I got to get done, but the goals are getting hit. You know, I'm a front end developer now. It's just nuts, dude. It's a wild ride. So if any of you guys are out there doubting yourself or you're struggling, just, just stay committed. Stay, stay true to you. Stay true to the grind. It doesn't matter if you do, you know, 30 minutes a day or 30 hours a day. You know, some people are like that. I work 30 hour days. <laughs> just stay committed, respect the hustle and grind, man. And always make time for everything else. Like. I don't know, it's just crazy. See, this is what happens when I don't have a script. I need scripts, guys. I start talking about anything and everything. But the last two weeks have been awesome. If you guys are going through your own developer journey right now, I hope you guys make it. I really do. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Even though it may seem dark, just keep going, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up there. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you enjoy the content, like the video, hit that subscribe button. If you have any friends starting their developer journey, point them my way. I'll help them out. 
Uh, again, the Discord's down below if you guys want to join the community there, talk to me, ask me questions. I, I always reply. I'm always in there. I'm active. And um, come hang out and join the community. There's almost 60 of us in there now, which is crazy. But yeah, things are awesome. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.